What's going on guys, Joe with OMGRC here. So today, we take a trip down memory lane. I wanna give it first a big shout out to Idaho RC Dad for sending me these RC cars. So let's get into the story of how I got these and why I wanted them in the first place. So, uh, this particular model here, both the same, the Turbo Hopper from Tyco. Well, it takes eight AA batteries. This is, the, this is the same exact model as the one I had back in elementary school. Uh, the thing is, is that I, my mom gave me a toss up between you can have a scooter, which my friends were all riding scooters at the time, or you can have an RC car. And I was like, well, I, like an R I want an RC car. I want that one. I went to Toys R Us. That was the one I chose. It takes eight AA batteries in it, nine volt battery that's in the controller, or radio. And man, I loved it. I was hooked. So then we're out and about and pick up car action so car action was one of those things where I was like it's all about radio control cars so I picked that up and then I started getting into the hobby but I want to show you tell you the back end of how I got these cars too uh, from Idaho RC dad on Instagram was that I gave him the story about you know the whole how I you know how I had one all that and he's like you know I just picked these up at a garage sale and I was gonna just do a giveaway and I was like oh, that's cool I mean you know those are those are cool cars because I had one as a kid and he's like really and I kind of you know I told him more about the story what have you and he's like you know what I'm gonna give them to you and I was like what so I was kind of like paused and a little struck there I was like that's awesome uh, he's like yeah I'll go ahead and send them to you and I was, he's like I was like I said I was gonna do a giveaway but I'm gonna go ahead and send them to you because you were genuinely genuine about you know the history of it and it what better place to go to a person that had one of these and should be a good home that it's going to go to of course i'm going to keep these suckers uh i don't think i'm going to run them or anything like that but um so going forward after this one uh in elementary school was i had one of these running it on eight double a batteries and boy if you put it on fast so let's take a look at this thing anyhow so Here's the, the slow and the fast speed, the little switch that's on there. So if you put that thing to fast, let me tell you, your batteries went fast too. And eight AA batteries, your mom's not going out and running and getting you more batteries all the time. So you better put that sucker on slow and enjoy it for a little bit longer. So, cause here you go. Um, this thing went focus or so. Let me go ahead and boop. So that's it right there. So you get 30 to 45 minutes of run time, and then you're out. So I was like, all right, well, we're gonna go ahead and put that thing, I'm gonna need some charge rechargeable batteries. So mom, I'm gonna need rechargeable batteries for Christmas, cause uh, I can't have, <laughs> these things are getting eaten up. So I got some GE batteries, charging them up, so I had eight there. So, uh, so that's that on that part of it. So I did that, got that a little bit, then I got into, I was out running around, and my mom, uh, we were, this. I think it's in Tampa, it was like Harborside or something like that. And we were at a, a bookstore and I was like, oh, car, you know, I love RC stuff, duh. And so I picked up one of these magazines. Ah, oh, I wish I would have had the very fir the first one I picked up. But what happened was I moved from one location to another during middle school and I lost that magazine. And I lost it and I realized it when I moved. I was like, man, I kept looking for that thing. I'm like, I asked my grandmother, I was asking my mom, like, man, you didn't, you haven't seen my car action magazine? Like, where the heck did it go? So that was like my Bible, man. That was like the very first one. So I was really upset about that. So I still am. <laughs> so I wish I would have had it. I don't even know what issue it was. It was colorful, but they're all kind of colorful as you can see here too. But it was, yeah, I was like, dang. But anyway, I looked through all these things and I wanted to go with, I was like, all right, obviously these are all the hobby grade stuff and you just start drooling. You're like, oh, I want that. But then you look at the prices and you're like, wow, reality check. I can't afford these things as a kid, but I did save up, got my Grasshopper 2. Kind of goes with, you know, because I was transitioning from toy grade to hobby grade, but I still love the buggy. So that's why I got the Grasshopper 2, had that one. And once I moved to uh, my new location, I met a, a cool friend, uh, his name was Brad. And his and his friend and his uh, other brother was Mike. So uh, anyway, so what I did was I said, "Hey, Mike, you're gonna need a car because I had my grasshopper." He's and my and so did my friend Brad. He had a grasshopper as well. I mean, we didn't la they didn't last long with us. But uh, I asked Mike, like, "Hey, man, you want to buy this from me?" So I think I sold it for like 25 or something bucks or something like that. Got that so I could you know get more RC stuff. So 
yeah, it was definitely a, a cool thing. And yeah, uh, once I got the, the grasshopper, then it was all team associated from there, the racing. And then, like I said, I got my team associated, kind of my own little hybrid thing up at the very top there that I raced. But yeah, that's when I got into it. And then I met my friend, Eric, which uh, he had the RC10, whatever that was, but it was a buggy, but it was the gold pan. And then the gold pans are worth some money now. And it, I know they've come out with it a few years ago with the uh, team associated as far as gold pan edition, but he had the original one. And when I saw that he hadn't even completed his kit, you know, we were in middle school. I was like, dude, man, you're gonna fix that sucker up and let's put it together and let's run that. So we finally got his to go in together. And it's just, uh, we started doing races where I, I bought a RC10T, RC10T, yeah, the RC10T, the stadium truck. I put foam tires on there, started doing some little carpet racing with it. But then it turned out it's like I needed a better charger. So because I had like a 15 minute charger, I, had a, I got a Team Novak charger that's a digital one, so it peak charges. I started soldering my own batteries together. I started getting the matched cells. You guys don't know what I'm talking about if you're new to it. So, but, uh, so those were the nickel cadmium batteries, if I'm not mistaken there. Um, anyway, that was crazy time because you didn't have a lot of runtime like you do now. You know, five minutes was pretty much your peak when I would race. So, and it was super expensive for the batteries um, back then too to get the good ones and then you solder them all up. So yeah, there's just a lot to it, but uh, man, I, I had to kind of stop let all the emotions out to, to getting these cars because I was like, man, this is so cool. I can't believe I, I'm looking at you know my my childhood RC car. So this thing's going on the wall. Both of them are going on the wall, and you know they're gonna be like that time capsule of it. Yeah, I mean this, the tires, these tires on this one are definitely softer. They're not, you know, they're still squishy. This one over here, you know, <laughs> they're like, eh, and like they're gonna just, yeah, they're they're hard as rock. But still cool, man. I definitely dig them. I was gonna, th I thought about running one of them or whatever, and I was like, you know what? I don't know. We might see if you say, hey, man, you should just put some batteries in there and run it just for the heck of it. Just kind of live that moment again, you know, and just talking about it probably will. And uh, throw some batteries in there, eight AA batteries in there, just throw that sucker on fast, and have a good time. So I'll probably do a little video on that one. As long as it runs, I don't know. I think he did tell me that he did put some batteries in it, and it does. I know the, the, radios here they have it and you know this is a 49 megahertz and the other one is 27 megahertz here so i will tell you this here i have my my friend greg we're still friends now and he had a kangaroo which is another buggy another brand back in the day too and he didn't even remember what he had and i was like dude you had the kangaroo i still have one i have a couple of your tires from that vehicle um but he would sit he was only about like three houses down from me. He would come out there, a little sneaky sucker, and he would be giggling and everything like that. He would turn his radio on and mess up my interference with my radio. So, hey, you guys that have the 2.4 gigahertz, you don't know the pain of having crystals, and if you're on the same frequency, it's messing you all up. So, yeah, that's that. But uh, definitely cool. I definitely appreciate that one. Idaho RC Dad, like I said, I'll put a link in the description below for his YouTube channel, and you can look at um, him on Instagram as well. So if I can get his tag on his Instagram, I'll go ahead and put that in the description below as well. Um, yeah. All right, guys, before I go to, I wanna give a big shout out to Ireland Duke RC. Again, for letting me, uh, you know, calling me out to do the challenge in regards to letting people know what I do with my spare time or just my hobbies in general. So I just want to, I'm sorry if I'm going to, I'm going to hack this thing up. I know because uh, it's in a different country. I'm sure is where you're at. And with all respect, because uh, you gave me lots of respect on your channel too. And I definitely appreciate that one, which was, uh, I hate to say it because I think I'm getting it wrong. Because if it is different language, then it's going to be a little bit how you pronounce things. But anyway, Corka's RC World. God, I don't. I know that I asked even my wife. She's uh, Spanish. She's from Colombia, and uh, so I was like, "Do you think that? Do you know what that's? You know how you pronounce that a little bit better?" So, and I said it, and she said, "I think it's something like that." I'm not. I'm bad with it. So I'm sorry if I hacked it up, man. But all due respect, I appreciate you acknowledging me on your channel as well. And I'll put a link in the description for both of them, Island Duke RC and also eh, Corka's, 
Porkas. I don't know if I said it. Gosh, I hate that. And RC World. So I'll put them both in there, and then you guys can tell me, like, hey, you, you, this is the way you pronounce it. So help me out. <laughs> All right. So anyways, I appreciate you guys watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. You guys know it. I do sell RC cars. So I'll be getting some more here soon. I'm trying to make up my mind and I, you know, as to what I want to get. But I, I did ask a – let me – I'll just say it again, Corka's RC World. But I did ask him, he did say about the things that he did like, RC cars. Uh, he's into the watches, he's into sport memorabilia, that kind of stuff as well. But, and he had um, die cast cars, which I like die cast cars, they're awesome. And, but he had the jump shot, which is a HPI jump shot. Those, I kind of honed in on that one because I'm like, I really want you know a two-wheel drive possibly and I, and I like the truck and I'm waiting for HPI to come out with jump shot 2.0 come on HPI so that's why I was kind of getting in on there he I asked him hey man is there anything that I need to do he put a brushless system in his he kind of gave me some stuff that you want to do to it so um, definitely appreciate that definitely big respect anyway big respect to all you guys out there anyhow appreciate all of the the likes the comments the awesome feedback and as, as, as always, guys, thank you for watching. So until next time, you guys take care, and we'll see you on the next video. Later.